So I've realized that I've kind of chronicled my recovery and a little bit into what's gotten me to a healthy place and believe me it's a journey. So whereas at this moment in time I am the healthiest emotionally that I've ever been psychologically, um, it's a journey. So you don't, you know, life is, health is not a destination, it is a journey. And um, you're never given more than you can handle at a given time, I firmly believe that. And so once I got some of the really big boulders out of the way, I had to start looking at the nitty gritty. And uh, at this moment in time, I am evaluating um, relationships and realizing that, um, hmm, how do I say this? I respond or react uh, from a place of fear when it comes to establishing relationships. And mostly it's out of ignorance of how to have a healthy relationship, have healthy boundaries. And whereas I've learned a lot about boundaries, I do find myself right now um, lacking deep meaningful friendships. And so I still say that I'm at the healthiest place I'm at, but this is not my destination. This is just you know, a bump in the road, which is going to elevate me to a new level in my life. And so what I really um, want to do is transform, a complete transformation. So getting rid of a lot of, well, all of the old habits uh, was the first, you know, first thing that I had to do in order to achieve seizure-free, continual living, because it's been well over two years that I've had a seizure. and. I'm the happiest I've ever been um, because my happiness is not contingent on things. It's not contingent on, um, well, I guess in some ways it is still contingent on the happiness of other people, which I'm trying to rectify, I'm trying to overcome, and I want to transform out of this aspect. Um, from this area of my life and so I thought what better way to, to do it than to share with people um, I've had requests for more videos and um, like I said it's a journey it's not like you get to seizure free and boom you're completely healthy and everything is great um, and my life is better than I've ever had it and it's harder because it's more work so just like an addict, you know, our life is better, but it's harder because we had all these poor coping skills, um, you know, which for PNES people, PTS people, PTSD people, led to unhealthy habits. And there are a lot of things that are within our control and within our domain that we have to stomp out. Um, we have to take control of the things that we can control. And so I guess that this next journey of my life. I'm going to be investigating healthy relationships where love is um, is the goal, you know, and love is not contingent on somebody else loving you back. You know, Jesus loved because that was his goal. His job was to love people. And I've heard this in rooms of recovery um, that, you know, you get embraced and people will love you until you learn to love yourself. And once you get to the place of, of liking who you are and then developing into like a real love and acceptance of, of where you are at that time, not who because we change, we evolve, um, but acceptance of where we're at at that point, then it's time to move on. It's, it's not a time to get complacent. So I'm at a point of um, resurrection of... Um, fervency of this desire to overcome this this new dilemma that I have which is creating healthy relationships and uh, not fearing rejection which was a long 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 um, battle that I had and wanting to um, 
be in people's lives because of the love that I want to offer them, not because I want to be or need to be loved by them. So you can see like there's this juggling act going on here right now in my mind as far as how to do that. So the first step that I did was today I went to the library and I know personality is very much a part of, of who we are, um, how we were born, um, so nature versus nurture. And so the first thing I did was I went and I got eight different books and uh, if people are interested, go ahead and ask, you know, and I'll list whatever books that I find helpful. But one specifically that I'm looking at is about Enneagrams and that's about your personality. But unlike the Myers-Briggs personalities, it's not fixed. So Myers-Briggs is really helpful because when I read it, I felt like somebody finally understood me. And so I still recommend to people, you know, take the, um, I can't remember, I think it's called 16 Personalities. And if you Google that, it will come right to the test. It's a free test. And for the first time as I read the results, I was like, wow, I feel like somebody understands me. But it's a machine. <laughs> so it was, it was helpful, but it didn't get me to my final destination or my final goal. So now I'm looking at Enneagrams which is um, helpful because it's like a, it's plotted on a chart so you might be a certain um, personality but they give you different levels so if, let's say that you're mid-level let's say that there's five levels and you're mid-level well you have five um, if you are goal-oriented and you're an achiever and you want to continue to work on yourself then you have something to work towards as opposed to Myers-Briggs where you get what you get and you don't get upset. <laughs> My kid's favorite line for uh, anybody who's disappointed with what life brings them. And so the Enneagram is what I'm looking at. So I, I, I'm looking for tools, I'm looking for strategies. Um, so And I, I welcome any comments too because I really, I am goal oriented and I know ultimate health is about being able to be in relationships and healthy relationships and not fear rejection and not crumble to pieces when your heart is broken um, not not to be fearful of you know finding new friends or you know where I'm at right now is you know I'm in a place where God's placed me and you know these people that I'm really intrigued with I'm like oh wow love to be their friend and wow huh how do you do that and so I started reading a book about boundaries um, from a Chris, Christian perspective Christian psychologist who wrote the book and that was very helpful it reminded me a lot of um, a lot of the really solid foundation that Melody Beattie talks about with codependence so so I guess that's where I'm at <laughs> and um, I just wanted to check in and Tell people, I'm not perfect, I'm in a journey. You don't have to be perfect either. You can just say that I'm not perfect. And if you know where you're starting at, there's so many resources at the library, free resources. Money doesn't have to be an object or an obstacle because I, I've never had a therapist to walk me through the PNES or PTSD. This was people that got placed in my life books that I was impressed to uh, borrow from the library. Um, I talk all the time about Hoopla, which is my one of my favorite apps. It's a library app, which means that all the books on it are free. Um, all, you need, all you need is a library card, a valid library card. So um, I challenge you to get a library card and then download Hoopla and you know, just evaluate where you're at. Um, if you're like me and you're on a journey and you're not content where you're at right now and which I'm sure some of you are and this is who that's for I know that I'm not for everybody and my goal my desire um, in my own life and what I recommend to people is take what you like and leave the rest so uh, until then I will let you know in the next video maybe how the Enneagram is and if you're interested write you know write me a comment and I'll respond and you can look through there's a lot of people that I correspond with through the comments 